Okay, I'm going to show you how to start off your warm-up routines by using your putter. We're going to start to putt. Now, I've stuck an umbrella in the ground about, uh, well not about, it's exactly 33 yards and a third away from this point. Now in old money that's 100 feet. So when I have my putter, you can close it in the driving range even if the grass is relatively short. See if you haven't generated enough power to hit the ball 33 and one third yards. Okay, now even though the grass is cut fairly long on this apron, the ball got there and it rolled 100% of its distance. Sure, it was bobbling a little bit because it's uneven ground, but the point is the ball never took off. So I've got a putting mechanism. Here's a Y shape and in its strongest form, it's amazing how far you can make the ball go. I aim the putter face, I build the grip and take my stance. You'll recognize that from all the other tips about grip and posture. Now I look at the umbrella and I'm only thinking about one thing, setting the ball the correct distance. Okay, and I even got the brake right there and the ball moved from right to left. I've got a bit of help from the ground. It's a great way of warming up your shoulder turn and your hand action. So although your hands are behaving very simply, gentle, medium and hard, that's hand action. So when I'm using my hand quickly now, I'm driving the ball forward to make it run. I know that I'm capable of hitting that 50 or 60 yards if I really need to. Not that I would often need to do that. Uh, if you're playing in Scotland on double greens, you might find yourself with a, a 70 or 80 yard putt, it can happen. But with a putter, it's surprising how far you can make it work. And you're getting a direction right from the start. The other thing this does, it gets you to understand that the short game is not gentle. It's the opposite. It's committed, it's brave, it's courageous. It's creative, you don't back off on the short shots, you go the other way. So I'm only going 100 feet, but you can see from the activity in the putt head in my hands that really the strike is rather hard. And this golf club is very good at keeping the ball low and sending it in straight lines. That allows you then to go on to the next stage. You could go to your six iron, pull the six iron up your sleeve, make it into a putter, and then find out what this club does over 100 feet. So it's basically the putting mechanism with the six iron to the umbrella. You can see that the ball took off before it ran. As it happened, I didn't hit the ball quite hard enough to get to the target. And I hate that. I don't mind a bad shot. I hate a weak bad shot. So. Get every putt to the hole and get every chip to the hole. There you go. So much more chance of getting close to the flag if I get the pace. So hopefully I've showed you putting and chipping is not a gentle art, it's a creative art. But start off small, learn to roll the ball for 100 feet and then see what the other clubs in the bag can do.